I have been going in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4 for a while now, trying to understand what the Lord is teaching us there. So this leper singled himself out from the multitude and he began to call upon the name of the Lord after worshiping. He said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. What does it mean, Lord, if you are willing? He has never seen anybody cured of the disease of leprosy. Leprosy is that disease that kind of takes you away from the people that are supposed to help you. It's like a sentence, a verdict of, oh, you, you are condemned. So he came to Lord Jesus Christ. Even before he realized whether Jesus is going to heal him or not, he said, no, number one, you deserve my worship. Now, after he has worshipped, he said, if you are willing, the only thing is for you to be willing, not the fact that you don't have the ability. You have the ability to, to heal me, even though I have never seen you do it before. But I know in you the power to do so is there. So he humbled himself. He didn't go to Jesus with a demand you have to do it. He humbled. But even in his humility, there is the fact of faith being demonstrated there. I want to tell you that there's a difference between giving up and giving in. What this man did is that he did, he did not give up on himself to say, okay, I know this is leprosy. I worship the Lord. It doesn't matter. But he said, I'm giving in to your will. That is the place every child of God needs to be. We shouldn't give up, but we need to give in to Christ. We need to give in to his way and to his will. Just like the leper. We worship the Lord. We place our expectation. But at the same time, we're saying the Lord, according to your will. Now, going to verse 4, Jesus surprised me. I expect him to answer and say, yes, I will be clean. But before he talked, the first thing is to reach out to the leper. And he touched the man and he said, I will be clean. What he's saying is that I know the needs that you have voiced out, but I also know the needs that you are not talking about. You have not been touched by anyone. I don't know how long this leprosy has lasted. But other than the need for healing, you are also lonely. You are feeling rejection. Let me reach out my hand that I'm not afraid of the disease that is plaguing your life. Let me reach out my hand so that I can let you know that I will touch you when nobody is touching you. Let me reach out my hand and say, I appreciate you in spite of everything. Let me know, I'm not only willing, but I'm accepting of your situation. That is what the Lord Jesus is saying. Brethren, I'm inviting somebody today to understand that first off, don't give up, but give in to the will of God. And while you are giving in to the will of God, I also want to tell you that the Lord knows more than what you are saying. He's willing to do more than your expectation. When you are asking for healing, he's giving you healing and he's also giving you a touch. He's also mentioning the things that you are not even saying. He said, I'm addressing them all like he did for the leper. He said, he touched him and he said, I am willing be cleansed. Somebody probably looking at him. That why are you touching the leper? It's because I love him. Somebody saying he didn't tell you he needs to be touched. I know his needs. And as you are sitting or you are standing, listening to me, understand that you must not give up. Give in and the Lord will meet you even at a place that is greater than your expectation. Join Pastor Forlakara Lallier in the Czech Chapel of Grace family every Sunday morning for Sunday worship service on Facebook. And you can also fellowship with us at Czech Lecky Center, venue, Georgie Plaza opposite Blanco by Sky Mall, Lecky Equer Expressway, Shongatato Aja, Lagos. Time, 10 a.m. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. Jesus is Lord.